Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thorn. In today's video, I want to talk about rat and mouse dating. What does that mean? Well, in short, it means we're all cowards when it comes to dating. We've kind of evolved gradually throughout history to become more and more conservative and a lot more cautious when it comes to dating and when it comes to showing interest in the other sex or in uh, starting up relationships or getting or building intimacy in relationships. And this probably goes for both straight and uh, gay and uh, bisexual people. Everyone is struggling when it comes to finding and maintaining and feeling a strong connection or attraction to another person. Now, how do I see it? Why do I call it rat and mouse dating? Before I get on with the video, I want to say thank you to all my patrons and supporters. Your donations go a big way to helping me maintain my channel and to make sure that my videos can be the best videos possible. Now, let's get on with the video. Rat and mouse dating. The way I see it, when it comes to interest today, the best way to build attraction to another person is to do something that is scary with another person and to do so with confidence and with general assertiveness. Typically, one way to build and maintain attraction to another person is to show and to express attraction to another person. That's probably the best starting point you can take. If you can talk to another person about what kind of things that make them attractive to you, if you can say that you're attracted to another person or that you're interested in another person, and if you can uh, talk about that with confidence and with strength, that's typically going to be immediately very attractive. But how I see it today, most people play their cards very close to their chest. They want the other person to show an interest in them before they want to show an interest in other people. This kind of uh, uh, thing goes to usually uh, keeping our own back covered. We're afraid of revealing our interest and being rejected by other people. And because we're both afraid of being rejected, that means none of us are going to make the first move. The second uh, reason we're living in rat and mouse dating culture is because Typically, the best way to show and to feel attracted to another person is to do something that is scary or something that is outside of your comfort zone. But typically, when we approach dating today, we do so in a very safe manner. We approach dating through text messages, through dating apps. We approach dating by simple and easy strategies like uh, uh, talking to somebody at work about something that's very neutral or very bland. It is typically we, we might show interest in another person by doing something extremely comfortable for us. But when it comes to dating, typically bold moves work best. That means uh, typically the best way to facilitate attraction to another person is to ask them out on a real date. It is to actually create a romantic setting. It is to actually go and do something scary or outside of your comfort zone. It is to uh, do something scary or difficult for both of you. It's to ask somebody to dance. It's to uh, do something that makes you vulnerable in front of the other person. However, with today's dating culture, what I'm seeing is we typically choose the easy choices. We find simple and easy ways to uh, meet and typically we'll just go on a walk or we're just gonna uh, sit down at a cafe or we're just gonna do something we do on our normal day. And typically that's never gonna make us feel attracted to another person. It's very rare and very difficult to build attraction to another person if you do so in bland and simple simple and uh, regular autopilot day-to-day -day life. So we have to take risks. Sign number three that we live in a rat and mouse dating simulation. We're typically avoiding things that make us feel genuinely attracted to other people. We're avoiding topics that make us vulnerable and we're avoiding to discuss and to engage with another person's vulnerabilities or sensitivities. We're afraid to offend other people. We're afraid to say something that will make them uncomfortable. We're afraid to ask them about things that are uh, deep or to that are emotionally touching to them or that uh, reveal their history or their past experiences. We don't ask about previous dating history. We don't talk about uh, past experiences. We don't talk about sexuality. And we avoid most of those topics. And that's typically, <laughs> yeah, fail failsafe way to make sure that it doesn't really feel like a date. You're meeting somebody, but you're talking about work. You're talking about safe topics, what you read in the newspaper, uh, some podcast you listen to, or you're just discussing the easy topics, but you're avoiding anything that will make you feel an attraction or a connection to the other person. So, yeah. <laughs> 
no wonder we're probably gonna leave that date and it's never gonna evolve into a second date. We're gonna talk with a person and we're gonna leave feeling like, yeah, this was basically nothing for me. This got me nowhere, I felt nothing. Yeah, this probably, this is not it. Sign number four that we have a rat and mouse dating problem is we're afraid of physical touch. Well, turns out we're still physical sexual beings. Yeah, uh, and what does that mean? Yeah, it means typically we should be more comfortable sh showing eye contact, giving another person eye contact, and touching another person in a friendly or in a very easy way. It can be as simple as touching their arm, it can be as easy as uh, uh, just, uh, you know, like rubbing their back, it can be as easy as just. Uh, uh, if you're sitting next to each other so by a tree, you know, like touching the other person's legs softly or gently and just carefully just seeing is this okay, like uh, just uh, notice their reaction to it and notice how they feel about it. And uh, yeah, of course, if they're not comfortable with it, of course, stop doing it immediately. But just find healthy and easy ways to engage in physical touch with one another because we are people that like physical touch and there's nothing dangerous about touch. Actually, touch is pretty nice. Most people like being touched uh, as long as they're being touched in the right way and in a way that feels right and comfortable for them. <laughs> so yeah, uh, typically imagine today we're kind of like sitting at a table distanced away from each other's, probably we should be sitting next to each other's, uh, where typically when we're dating we're like uh, keeping it like very hands off, we're keeping it very neutral, we're keeping it very like aphysical <laughs> and typically that's gonna mean it's also gonna be aromantic. Similarly eye contact Great starting point if you can show eye contact and when you're listening to another person, if you can show that you're in tune with them and you're listening to what they say, yeah, that's probably going to help you facilitate a bond with one another. But most people, when they talk, they'll talk and they'll not look at each other. So when another person talks, they'll look away. Uh, they look on their phones, so they'll struggle to really, uh, you know, pay interest in the other person. Yeah, of course, that's going to lead to a very boring and very dull date. You're going to feel like the other person wasn't listening, or you're going to feel like, yeah, there was nothing really there. <laughs> you were talking to a wall. That other person didn't really seem to know you existed. Yeah, that sucks, right? Sign number five, we're living in a rat and mouse dating culture. A lot of the time it seems we're dating more based on what we think is conventionally attractive or what is conventionally interesting. What kind of a match uh, is going to uh, get me approval from my friends and family members? What kind of qualities does this person have that will make me uh, get approval from my parents or from my friends and family members? We're just looking at that basic list checklist of, you know, are other people going to think this person I was on a date with is nice or good looking or attractive? Are other people going to approve of this person? How are other people going to think about it. We're often struggling to date with our own voice. Do you know what you find attractive in another person? Do you know what you find interesting? Do you know what you're into? Or are you just going based off tic, uh, Tinder one-liners? Do you know what kind of people are attracted to you? Or are you just picking and selecting the 10 out of 10 uh, people that you're seeing? I see a lot of people complaining about the unfairness of online dating culture and how difficult it is to date today. You know, I hear both men and women complain about how difficult it is to find a genuine, lasting or important or positive pairing. Men are going to throw out a lot of numbers and they're going to say that, yeah, I swipe uh, for like 80% of all women and yet I only get like one or two matches. Nobody wants to date me. They're all, women are all like, they don't care about me anymore, you know. Uh, and I hear these numbers and I go like, you know, you know that... 50% uh, of the population are women, right? <laughs> and that means you have an equal amount of possible partners as women have. <laughs> there's an equal possibility of connection for both men and women because there's an equal amount of men and women to choose from, assuming we're um, an even amount of heterosexual people on the planet. So yeah, maybe the online dating culture is just full of ro robots, or maybe um, it's not going to be where you're going to meet your potential partner. So where are you going to meet your potential partner? Where are you going to find a real and lasting connection? And where are you going to be able to meet a woman or a man in a way that feels comfortable for you and in a way that will make them attractive to you? <laughs> so yeah, those were my thoughts on rat and mouse dating culture. What are your experiences on dating today? How do you feel about dating? Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video.